Hey Ryan, um, I was going to make a bunch of drills for you to do to help you with your twisting, but there's pretty much only like two that I can say that'll be your most beneficial. Um, other than that, I'll show you those real quick, but basically what you got to be doing is just don't overdo them. Um, like I said in the post on uh, Facebook, five to seven tries, attempts, um, whether you land them or not, and then leave it at that for the day. Um, and just, I mean, that way you can keep, keep doing them like pretty periodically, like three or four times a week um, and not feel like you're not getting anywhere. Because if you just only do it that amount, your brain will have time to wrap around uh, what you're actually doing and decide what is not working and what is versus doing hundreds of them or dozens of them a day and never really getting anywhere with them uh, and not knowing like what you're doing anymore because you've done way too many of them. You know what I mean? It's like that repetition abomination that ends up happening. Um, my cousin's agreeing with me. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so just, you know, like I said, five to seven of them, and uh, you're already heavily conditioned dude, so you don't have to worry about doing that in between, which is usually the case with this stuff. If you're not um, conditioning in between and doing those really, uh, only doing a couple of, like, attempts per, t per session, then uh, it's not going to help you out that much. So, like I said, five to seven each time, and uh, whether or not you make it or whatever, or even if you get a breakthrough, don't keep going with it. Just let it go. And I've had more success with all my twisting moves, uh, any move really, when I've approached it this way. Um, so anyway, here's a couple of things I think that can help you out a lot as far as uh, drills, though. All right, so for this first twisting drill, um, pretty much all you're going to do is do a straight jump upward, kind of float for a second, then go to a full twist and land on your back. Okay, to start this out, I would actually recommend doing it to your stomach first. If you don't know what a stomach drop is, um, I'll show you that too, but uh, I'm pretty sure you know what that is. Anyway, the whole thing looks like this. You jump straight up, wait, then you do the twist up, and you twist over like that. And the main thing is that you're learning how to jump up first, spin second. Um, again, your back fold does not look that bad at all. It just looks like it needs a little bit of nurturing, so to speak. Um, but yeah, just jump straight up, uh, lean back a little bit so that you can land on your back and you don't land back on your feet again. And as you come around, land flat on your back, uh, trying to twist with your legs tight together. Um, and if you can, even try to do one and a half double twists, uh, just so you can get a feel of how tight you have to be and how straight your legs have to be um, to help you. Obviously, within a normal back full, standing full, you're going to have to have a slight tuck of the legs, um, unless you're like one of those really, really gifted twisters and flippers that can do it a standing pull, like almost like in a laid out position. Um, but anyway, again, move this out of the way. Jump straight up, open up everything, look down to the side you want to twist on. When you see the floor, pull everything in, twist around, land on your back. Up, oh, look, turn around, land on your back. All right. Um, first of all, just try to go to a stomach drop, land on your stomach at first, jump straight up, over, land on your stomach. And if you got that pretty simple, then you can start to do the uh, full twist all the way through. Straight up, land on your back. And you see how I'm landing at an angle? That means I'm twisting a little too early. It's not that bad. But if you're landing flat, straight in front, legs straight in front of you, then you are twisting at the right time. I just did these a ton, and then I would attempt my back fulls, standing back fulls, in between these. Um, so this is kind of like the thing I would do a high repetition of, and then go do the attempt. The other thing I think you should do too is, I think you should just do normal standing back flips without grabbing the legs. And also not a back, not a grab, tuck like that, but a back flip without grabbing the legs. Um, and the more powerful you can make this back flip without grabbing the legs, then you're going to have a better awareness of being able to use your arms for the spin. Um, so pretty much what I used to do is two ways. I would either do a standing super, super hard back tuck. So I just go as fast as I can over. Really, really powerful. As powerful as you can. Um, and then also would do a step into it, kind of like the cheerleading method. <laughs> Kind of like a cheerleading method. So you take a step and do it like this. One step. 
all right? Pretty much as strong as you possibly can make it for the flip, and that'll make it easier for you when you're transferring it into a spin. Um, only thing I can say is use those arms as hard as possible. Uh, don't go light on them. Really pull them back as hard as you can. Get them up there. I saw a comment about that too. So other than that, uh, just use those kind of as in-betweens and then you go and try your standing full. And uh, don't be afraid to try it off higher things. I'd say anything that's about two feet off the ground. Um, Try it off of that, and that'll also be very beneficial for you. Then lower it down as you get more comfortable with it. Um, there's some more things I could tell you, but I think those are the basic things that will help you. So five to seven attempts per day at the most of the full skill, the repetition of the jump up, full twist to your back, the strong, strong back tuck, um, and then doing it off of different, uh, different heights, um, primarily anything two feet, so about your knee height off the ground, and then lower than that as you get better. Um, that's all I can really give you. Good luck. And I know you'll get this with repetition, man. Here it be. Talk to you later. Hey, Ryan. Um, I was looking at your video one more time before I sent the, before sending the rest of the stuff to you. Um, when I looked at it, I know you said that you were uncomfortable with going into the pit, so you're kind of leaning back a little bit. Definitely see that there. And I know this is your first vid, so I think with time, when you get comfortable, you'll probably get closer to the edge. But um, your head is definitely leading you over um, and beating the arms. Um, one thing I could say to help you with that is look under your armpit. Um, that way at least you'll keep your head in more um, when you go over. Um, and also it will keep you more upright instead of leaning your head back like that and making you drop over the shoulder um, or drop to the side so much. So yeah, one more tip for you when you swing your arms up look under the armpit um, and that should help you get there uh, then because of that also making your twisting super early and not getting that flip in there so um, yeah just try that too and uh, hopefully you know there's not too many um, coaching cues at once but I think really just slamming those arms up head under and uh, making sure you have a powerful flip first and then everybody think everyone's talking about twisting later and stuff like that, and that's going to be very, very helpful as well. So just keep that flip in there, keep doing the half twists, and then eventually turn that into a three-quarter twist and a full twist versus just, you know, going straight over all the time. Um, good luck, and yeah. talk to you later. Bye.